Hello and welcome back to my channel guys, Gavin here with another grading tutorial. Um, so the last one I released in December, some of you may know that I hurt my finger back then when the leash, my dog's leash wrapped around my finger and she was going after a cat. And I ran around with a broken finger actually for one month. <laughs> Maybe I have to get surgery, but I don't think so. It's, it's healing like that. They told me after doing the... Uh, the scan or x-ray or whatever you call it um so that's what's been going on uh, i've been posting some shorts and uh some shorter clips um because i think it's fun um if you don't like that don't watch it um of course i still want to do these uh, proper tutorials of looks and uh, this time i thought we'd uh, start with a look from the beginning so I did this grade, it was a corporate film that I did in December still and it has been released recently and so I can show you this stuff and um, it's actually quite a high-end corporate movie I would say and I don't know which shot I will show you maybe something different maybe something here uh, Let's just see. Maybe we take this one here. I'm not sure. Hmm. So it's always a struggle to to find the actual shot that I want to show you guys. Um, so I want to do this a bit more on the fly, as you can see, um, because somebody uh, complained that my last tutorial he didn't understand what I was doing and it was kind of basic for him. It was a basic look actually, which is, which isn't a bad thing. So yeah, whatever. I even, uh, took away his subscription to my channel, <laughs> whatever. Um, so that's what I'll show you here. So there you have the scopes again. Um, <sighs> shot will I show you I think I will show you this one this one this is a good one so this was shot uh, with Alexa LF I think so let's add some serials here just so we have something um, and let's do it basic this time so I will put the lot here Okay, as you can see, now we have Rec 709 with Alexa. And I uh, hope you guys can see everything I do here on this panel. So let's just start by raising the highlights a bit. Pushing down the blacks a bit. So we just get a bit more contrast here. They wanted a actually they wanted a moody look they told me in the beginning and uh, then call after call uh, when i sent them versions they kind of realized that they didn't want it to be that moody at all so <laughs> it's always it's always a communication thing but the guys that shot this are great and i really like them and it's just sometimes you have to you have to find a, a path first so um, a good tool to raise the, the, the exposure, of course, is offset. You just go on the primaries offset, and then you can see it here. You can just raise the offset and make it a bit more uh, exposed here without destroying anything. Okay, so like I said, it's quite greenish. Um, so let's, I usually do this with, with the highlights. I do my white balance. Let's just neutralize it a bit. What you can also do, I'll show you that RGB. You can also go and just do here. You see that you can just pick somewhere here, uh, there. And that's how you do white balance. It's a bit too strong for my taste in this case. So let's put in some warmth again. There we go. 
and let's go into my second node here which will do saturation so in normal tutorials colorists will always oh let's name this stuff fuck it <laughs> what is my watch doing here so primary saturation and we have the LUT so but no let's call it rec 709 so as you can see this this video will will probably be a bit longer than the usual ones but somebody some of my viewers told me hey you just do your thing and uh it doesn't matter if the video is half an hour as long as we learn something so that's what i wanted to do um so what else can we do i remember one thing that was just I just add a parallel here because I know that I will need it um, maybe even another one and a serial always have enough notes as long as you keep keep track of it maybe I can remove these so don't activate this one so um, what the client definitely wanted was um that i that i desaturate this this orange stuff here it was just too too strong but let's raise the saturation a bit more primaries here don't burn out the window there okay so uh Usually, I, I try to just use one of these three here because uh, it's it's a lot cleaner when I do it that way. Um, so in this case, this is of course orange. We want to desaturate it, and uh, it shouldn't be a problem to to key it. There are ser several ways um, to, of course, separate different parts of the image. Maybe I I, th I thought about doing. A small also uh, short videos shorts youtube videos um to explain like technical stuff very quickly and very very uh, uh in, a, in a simple manner so you guys so everybody can can learn something from it maybe i will do that in the future um so let's 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 use hue and saturation in this case so we have this so we have the orange here. Uh, so we get out this stuff. There's also some orange here, which maybe we can desaturate too. And there we go. And the chair a bit. All right. And then let's just blur it a bit. Okay. Just highlight it. And then I just go in this saturation here. Okay, that looks a lot better, as you can see. And it also desaturated this stuff here, okay? So why I put this in a parallel note? So um, when I'm doing certain things like keying and stuff, oftentimes I will use another key in the shot or another effect, and I don't want to, I don't want anything to interfere with each other, okay? So I always have enough notes. I will clean that up when I'm done with the grade, usually, okay? Um, what I had in the first place was um, I had this post clip effect here and I was doing um, what I usually use is, uh, what is it? Um, film convert to do, to do it. A bit of an analog look and then I just try something here okay what else can we do this is just too much too much too much I actually don't want it to be this analog or it wasn't supposed to be for the client at least but let's try it now uh, this is just too this is too much so we have 35 full frame just always dialed the grain a bit back here and the film color so a mixture let's do it a mixture okay so it 
basically just squished it all together now. The colors, the color intensity, okay. And we have this here. So let's go in here and let's just do a circle. Okay, you can do it with the mouse or you can do it uh, with these with these uh, dials here on the on the grading panel sorry yeah sometimes i'm losing it <laughs> okay let's just go and uh, let's do it a bit softer okay so let's brighten her up a bit okay so we don't want it to be too obvious of course and when you do this you know when you do it the RGB style, then you always have to, when you do make it brighter, you know, you always have to desaturate it after because you're dialing in too much color there. Okay. And then we just copy this one, go here and we invert it. Okay. No, I didn't invert it. Let's see. There we go. And let's deactivate this stuff okay make it a bit more darker highlights a bit up let's see how this looks this is a bit too much i think let's do it even softer What is it doing? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Let's go and squeeze this a bit here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Is it too much? I'm not sure. It's kind of like a spotlight here, huh? Okay, so I went down with the highlights here. Isn't there a program that shows you guys what I'm exactly doing my inputs? Shit, I need that. I'm sorry, guys. I still hope you see what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay. So that's where we're coming from. And this is where we're going. All right. So we have this kind of analog touch. There are a lot of analog plugins. I wanted to try out Dehancer soon as well. There's also this look designer here, which I have a test version. I tend to do it myself in most of the jobs, but I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out or which came out in the last few years. So, so uh, then let's see if we can add some cool stuff here. Maybe some light rays, oop, that's too much. Uh, ba, ba, ba. From an angle, so we have this window here on the left side. Okay, you, you always have to play with these with these dials. Jeez, that's too much. Hmm. It's far too much brightness. Something like this. Do a bit less soft here. This doesn't look shitty. <laughs> Let's see. Well, it merges, kind of merges. Um, what's the picture here? Strength. Okay. Let's see. See here, you can see the rays properly, but they kind of change when she's 
I mean, it makes sense when she's stepping into the race that something happens with them. It's just too much. Ray direction from location. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can do it this way. Yes, that's better. That's better. So it now comes from this side here. That's far too strong. Let's do it, yeah. Let's, let's, let's try something like this. Let's soften it again. Uh, I don't know if it's helping the picture, so see there's oh, it's too much it's too much Maybe something like this it's more like a glow now but i think i like this better um yeah so we have these rays you could also do it with a with a glow you know there's also many many cool plugins here see it's just putting itself on top of here but i don't want to do this um and what else can we do what else can we do so somebody asked me um when to use the depth map you know there's a, a nice plugin that that you can pick stuff by just uh, narrowing down where where uh where in the picture something is, how far in the picture something is. So if something is in the foreground, you can pick it quite easily. But it doesn't make sense here because um, it's the whole picture is, you know, there's stuff going on um, here and here. So it doesn't make sense. You can't pick anything here. What else can we do? I think I think I'm quite happy with the shot right now. Um, it's a bit too natural i think maybe we can also go let's just add a, a parallel note here and um we'll just hmm, what do we do what do we do also we take luminance saturation and hue so let's go with this greenish tone of the of the board is it called the board? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's try to eliminate some of this stuff. Well, that was not successful. But we still want the screen here. Let's see. Let's see. Now you can also go and take a window and we'll just add a back back. <laughs> I'll do it in a simple manner. Let's just add this here. Okay. And we just soften this up a bit more. Ba, ba, ba. Then we go and track it. Not that many moving things here. Okay. And we just put in the blur. Now we should have the board quite all right. So it's quite grainy now anyways. But it's because of the, no, it's not the light rays, it's because of this one here, the film convert. And then we have this board. I just want to desaturate it a bit. Let's put in some sign here, see? I think that helps it. It's, it's not as, you know, yellowish anymore. The whole shot because of it, okay? So here we go. That's how I would grade the shot right now. I'm 
I'll actually have to check after uh, how my actual will, how my actual grade looked. <laughs> So guys, this uh, was a bit different. So we are at 20 minutes right now. And so I'm back here. I ho hope you enjoyed this one too. And you learned something. And um, yeah, if there's any anything you want to add, if there's anything uh, you want to, yeah, give me advice on just just pop me a message. Always uh, appreciate that. And as always, uh, if you like this, like, subscribe, leave a comment, of course. And um, yeah. Oh, and what I wanted to say, somebody asked me if, um, if I plan to do a course or something. And uh, I think I gave, gave you my opinion on this in, in, in another video. I'm not sure anymore. Um, I don't think that those master classes do anything for you. They're just, most of them are garbage actual actually because it has nothing to do with with actual work you know those complicated note trees that they're using uh if, if you have a project with 100 shots who, who's going to use that stuff <laughs> nobody will you have to keep it simple like i told you and um so i don't think that i'll ever do a master class or something but what i want to do is um maybe do like a small booklet for beginners and one for advanced colorists um, where I give you my 10 best advices um, to become a colorist or technical advices and lots of different stuff that, that I think is possible for a small amount that I could sell you that um, or give you that even. And um, maybe I want to do some if, if anybody's interested, I want to maybe do some coaching in the future, like one to one sessions for half an hour or an hour where you can just ask me whatever you want. And I give you my opinion or my knowledge or whatever. That's that's kind of uh, what I think is possible. I don't want to rip anyone off. I just want to help you guys. And uh, so so no thousand dollar masterclass and every Christmas there's a special discount only for 24 hours. It's yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you in the next one too. Cheers and bye bye. <laughs>